Hi, hello. I'm Lisa and I am the Smart Happy Project. I guess I am the Smart Happy Project. And today, on this video, I wanted to do the model of the solstice because it's the solstice next week. This is an activity that I, I must have shared countless times, like through loads of emails and um, it's in the 365 journal. Um, and it just it just shows our position within the 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 passage of the year and the pattern that we travel through. So uh, we use this printout, which is the the solstice model, solstice and equinox model sheet. It comes in part of the new pack that I put together, launching this this summer. Find symmetry in the natural world. Family activities that encourage an observation of the patterns and shapes that we can see in nature. And it's got the model of the, the solstice model in it. Phases of the moon. Charting the phases of the moon. Lots of scavenger hunts. Things like that. So anyway, I'll talk more about that in another one. Um, I just want to do this one today because it's the solstice next week. So I'm using my model of the earth that is the earth on a stick and a torch that's what you need so you need this is just a polystyrene ball you can see it's about i don't know seven centimeter diameter or something um on a with a stick through the center just like a kebab skewer and a big dob of blue tack so i'm going to set up the model now and uh, and put the camera above it so you can see it okay right so here we are set up i've got the printout um uh my globe on a stick a glob of blue tech and a torch okay so the first thing make sure the the skewer the stick is going through the axis of your ball so this acts as the earth and then this is the earth the axis of the earth so this is the south pole this is the north pole Okay, what, what we have to remember is that the Earth actually doesn't sit upright as it travels around the sun. It actually leans. So it, it, it's called the axial tilt. The axial tilt is actually, I think it's something like 23.4 degrees, if I remember rightly. Um, and the, it's this axial tilt, which is actually really important because this is what gives us the seasons. And this is what gives us the north, uh, the summer solstice and, and the winter solstice. Because if it was upright, if it, was, if it wasn't leaning, the sun would hit it exactly the same all year round. But because it leans, the sun hits it at a different angle. So, so what we start with, I'm going to start with the summer solstice here. This, just as a quick note, as you can see, I've written here, this is accurate for the northern hemisphere because I live in your, northern Europe. So if you're in the southern hemisphere... The winter and the summer solstice are swapped, and so are the equinoxes. So I'm going to put my blue tack to the left of the summer solstice there, sticking on the table. And then I'm sticking my, my earth into it. And then I'm leaning it in a bit to represent the axial tilt. Can you see? You're looking down at the top of that. You can see. And then we get our torch. And what I'm doing is I'm holding it. Is it from the center but i'm not holding it down on the paper holding it slightly raised so that it's level with the level of the earth because the earth isn't on the paper and you can see here that the light from the sun hits the north the north pole and around slightly around the bottom it doesn't quite hit the south pole and if you imagine that during the course of the day the earth spins on its axis doesn't it it spins around and that's how we get sunrise and sunset. Now, if you imagine, I'm going to put this down for a minute. If you imagine that you're in Northern Europe, okay, this drawing pin is going to be our position. It's something like that. Okay, that's the approximate latitude. So imagine that's you. Okay, here you are basking in your midday sun on the 21st of June. Okay, and then as we turn... The sun will set and you go into night time. But it's a short night and then you come around again because there's quite a bit of sunshine. And then for the next day, this is how this is 
this is your your summer pattern because you spend longer in in northern europe you spend longer in daylight than you do in sun so that's the summer solstice and then if we go around if you we go straight to the winter solstice now we we'll do the same on the other side and remember it's tilting but it doesn't tilt doesn't turn to tilt that way it carries on tilting that way so we stick it here on the winter solstice okay i'm going to turn you in northern europe back up there and then the sun again and can you see i'm raised above the paper but can you see how the light is not hitting the north pole now because it's in shadow but i'm still getting a bit there that's my short day it's my really short day in northern europe there and then i'm turning now i'm in darkness i'm in darkness but if you could see underneath the globe which you will be able to do if you do your own model you'll see that the south pole is in sunlight which is how the southern hem hemisphere experiences their summer solstice when we're having the winter because they're on the other side so there you go that is your model of the solstice and the equinoxes so just to show you the equinoxes the spring equinox is up here so again we're leaning so for the winter solstice we were leaning away from the sun in northern europe for the summer solstice we're leaning towards the sun at the equinoxes, again, see the sun is coming out from the side. You're you're not leaning towards it or away from it. You're sort of you're sort of leaning parallel to it. So the spring equinox is usually the 21st of March, and you can see how there's an equal amount of sun on all of the globe there, because the lean is to the side. It's not towards the sun. And that's how how everyone on the planet gets equal amount of light at the sol at the spring solstice, and also then at the autumn solstice, which is here. And then it's the same. We're just looking that way, but from looking at it, you're looking slightly behind it, so you're seeing more darkness because you're in the behind it. And for the purposes of the illustration, you can see this is all in sunshine and this is all in shadow. But they're, they're the same, they're just opposite each other in the year. So that is our journey throughout the year. So we start the spring equinox and then the summer, which is where we are next week, autumn and winter. There you go. And that, my beautiful friends, is uh, the solstice model. Um, so as we saw, it illustrates the the solstices are opposite each other and the equinoxes. And I've always been fascinated with them. I've been so attracted to them always. And they, they're just such a profound journey that we go through every year. And they've held significance in so many uh, civilizations and cultures. So in all in your study of all these varying cultures and um, histories and things, you might come across these, and it's just a really nice exercise to to model it out. Um, okay, so I'll see you next time, and happy solstice.